Welcome to Smite, the battleground of the gods. Mario Kart, baby! How do you go? Almost every ability in Smite is a skill shot. Eat an 80 cap of shit, Lord! <laughs> what? I got placed an 8? <laughs> what? Do you believe in miracles? When I actually heard that Pong Doc was uh, working on Smite Car, it was during a very sad uh, part of my life. You know, you always have these periods where you're down, and hearing that was like this big bubble getting blasted. It was the bubble of happiness. Smite Car is the single greatest innovation in the 21st century. You look at Titanic, you look at Avatar. You look at Smite Car, you look at things that have pushed the boundary of filmmaking forward. I mean, yeah, was I skeptical? I mean, who wouldn't be? If I can make one thing that is one one hundredth as good as that on my channel, in any time in my life, I'll be a satisfied man. Here's this guy coming to me saying, hey bud, I got something better. I got something better than Super Meat Boy playthrough part one. And I said, you know what? So just don't, just don't tug my leg like that, man. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not here to joke, you know what I mean? And I mean, he did it. It's in its own league. He really fucking did it. People don't even know what to compare it to. It's like trying to compare a toddler's doodles to Pablo Picasso. I have never seen anything like that before. A novice martial artist to Bruce Lee. It didn't stop. It just kept giving. Or any other human to Dave. That really was the greatest of all gifts that Hunt Duck has ever given the world. When I first saw it, I just couldn't get it out of my head. It just kept replaying and replaying and replaying and replaying. And you know, what pisses me off to this day, a big part of what made Smite Car, you know, what it is today, is Mesmerize's performance. I mean... Welcome to Smite, the battleground of the gods. It's worthy dialogue that 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 helped solidify the video as a classic. I mean, I, I don't even think Mesmerize has seen it. No, I have. It's awful. When I was studying, I, I started suffering from some severe mental health problems. I, I tried everything to get better. When I first saw it, wow. I eventually fell into what's called a, a catatonic depressive state. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> I mean, it, it's a piece of more not. When I tell people about this, they, they always ask me, you know, how the hell did you get out of that? Well, I still had internet access at the time and I I was browsing YouTube when, when something came up in my recommended tab. It's film history. It's just not going to be forgotten. It, it changed everything. After a few days, I called up my therapist and I said, I said, Dr. Giles, I have amazing news. I'm, I'm feeling things. I, I can see colors again. I feel alive. And she just, she just chuckled and said, so you finally saw Smite Car. When I first laid my eyes upon the beauty that is Smite Car, and when it first came out, I just couldn't wait to play it with my best friend Punk Duck and them. Um, it was a good time, yeah. Smite Car. <laughs> first time I watched it, I knew I had to share it immediately. After watching it for the 12th time, I sent it along to my boss, and he immediately gave me a raise, which was expected. When we started working on Apollo's Rumble Racer, we never thought that anything of this scope would come from it. All those hours spent working, coding, we knew it was worth it. It was basically... It's such a masterpiece. The best thing that has happened to Smite. Oh, he's making Smite Cop Hot too. When you look at the pantheon of great cinematic sequels... I thought it was a strange decision to basically take the perfect mold in the game, try to make an even better video about it. One has to wonder, can Smite Car 2 actually live up to the hype of Smite Car 1? It's a masterpiece. I loved it. This man will go very far in life. He's just a genius. I don't know what else to say. If you need it, Smite Car will find you. I'm here now.
The following documentary was brought to life by my producers, including Astris, Adam, and Marlin, and of course with the help of my beautiful patrons, which include Daniel Johnson, Christian Braun, Susanna, Death Before Retreat, Donut, Mookery, Jeffrey R., The NSA, Aaron Kresge, Adventurer Huggles, Grim Narwhal, Little Amigo, and Victor Sanders. Words cannot describe how thankful I am to you guys, so I'll just shut the fuck up. Thank you.